The widespread college admission scandal drew attention this year to the influence of money in the U.S. higher education system. But there's another form of cheating that's actually received less attention. A story published last week in the New York Times explores how American college students are paying writers overseas to complete their assignments for them. The industry is growing with websites like Ace My Homework, Essay Sharks, and offering custom papers for a price. Farrah Stockman is a reporter for the New York Times and one of the authors of that story. She joins me now from Cambridge, Massachusetts. So can you tell me sort of a little bit more about the scope of the contract cheating? How exactly does this work? Um, so tens of millions of essays a year worldwide are being bought and sold online. And it's pretty simple. I, when I started um, researching this, I was pretty shocked by how blatant it is. If you go to these websites and, and just... Um, the marketing is like, do you want to go to that party or do you want to uh, hire us to write your essay for you? So it's it's um, it's it's a very it's a worldwide problem. And Farah, you spoke to some of these writers overseas who actually do this work. What did they say to you? Um, that's what the part I was most interested in is what is it like to um, spend your time writing essays for colleges that you don't attend and. Um, it, a lot of these people thought it was really cool that they could earn a living like this, but they were sad uh, that that they weren't the ones who were going to get that degree and that they, they weren't the ones who were going to actually be um, uh, attending those schools. So it, it was a, it was kind of a bittersweet story um, uh, from that point of view. How much do these folks make who are writing these essays? Um, some of them make thousands of dollars in a country where uh, the average income is about two thousand dollars a year. So they wow. can make really good money. Yeah, mm. they can make really good money. But others um, don't make so much. So the woman I wrote about made about three hundred and fifty dollars for the for the best month that she that she um, that she worked in these essays. But it's like Uber. So it, it's it's. Uh, flexible, you can, mm -hmm. um, and it's tax free. Mm. How are universities responding to this trend? Well, it's very funny because I got a call from a friend of mine who worked at an Ivy League school, mm -hmm. and she, he, he said that they had a meeting recently uh, on Monday, I guess, where they talked about this, and one of the professors mentioned that she has. Um, encountered this in her own class and an essay was turned in and it was a book chapter from a book that she had written oh, and uh, she called up the she called up the student wow. and, and asked uh, confronted the student and the student's response was well I contracted that essay out and just didn't take any sort of ownership whatsoever that she said well, I, I'm sorry there was plagiarism but I, the, the the person responsible for the plagiarism was the essay writer that I hired and they think that's okay that's just strange to me it's just strange to me so how, some of these essay writing services say that students who buy their work hey you guys aren't supposed to pass this off as your own but they're writing these essays for them anyway D does that give them legal protection from problems well, you know, this is the world we live in now. It's an, it, it's where are these companies located? Some of them are, uh, we're not sure. So um, these companies sort of live in the cracks of the internet and it's hard to figure out what jurisdiction they're in. Uh, and if you have a worldwide problem like this, how do you confront it? So mm -hmm. um, I think that that's, it's gonna be, and as online classes at Mushroom, this is gonna become an even bigger problem. Yeah, you make such a good point. Ferris Stockman, it was a fascinating article. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks so much for having me.